Tacos. It's Cinco de Mayo. It's a wonderful, fun day to celebrate. Let's learn how in Cinco de Mauso. Cinco de Mauso. Written by Judy Cox. Illustrated by Jeffrey Ebler. On the 5th of May, Mouse woke up and wriggled his whiskers. Spicy smells tickled his nose. Beany, cheesy, ricey smells. A Mexican fiesta. Fantastico! Mouse crawled out of his hidey hole. Where was the fiesta? Not in the bathroom where the kids brushed their teeth. Not in the bedroom where mom folded laundry. Not in the kitchen where dad washed dishes. Mouse slipped out the front door and set off to explore. Mouse scampered down alleyways, past sidewalks and street lights. He didn't see greedy cats stalking him down the street. Before long, Mouse stopped at the edge of the city park. What sights met his eyes? All around were people eating, singing, dancing, strolling, playing. All around were food and drink, sombreros, serapes, and bright paper flowers. Cinco de Mayo! His eyes grew round as he beheld the confetti-covered piñata, stuffed with candy and shaped like a burrow, hanging in a tree above the plaza. I must have that for my fiesta, he said to himself. He jumped, but the entire piñata swung far out of his reach. But all around were people eating, dropping snacks for mouse-sized meals, yummy foods he'd never tasted before, tacos, tamales, churros, and flan. The mouse was full. He dozed under the shade of a canopy. Cat crouched in the flower bed, tail up and head down, waiting for his chance. But all around came dancers, stamping, heels stomping, toes tapping. Mouse woke up and dashed away from Cat, ducking between dancers, pounding feet, zigging and zagging, jigging and jagging. Cat pounced, but missed his prey as Mouse darted beneath the stage. Mouse heard the mariachis play, heard the guitar, the trumpet, the sweet-voiced violins heard the boom of fireworks and people shouting, Viva Mexico! When at last Mouse's heartbeat steadied, his whiskers quivered. Once again, he smelled the candy hidden deep in the piñata. But how to reach the sweets buried in the burrow, swaying high above the plaza? Lickety split, Mouse scampered up the tree. He inched across the rope like a tightrope walker, one paw in front and one paw behind. He didn't see Cat hiding in the daffodils, his stripy tail switching, his green eyes narrowed. The piñata swayed as Mouse climbed up. He smelled the treats, fruity, sugary, and honey sweet. He nibbled, he gnawed, but he could not reach the treasure inside. Then, just then, came the swish of the stick as a child swung and someone jerked the piñata aloft. Mouse held on tight as the piñata swayed and sailed, dipped and spun. A carnival ride for Mouse. In the plaza down below, Cat waited for Mouse to fall into his paws like a ripe plum. And then, whap! The mighty blow and the burrow burst. Mouse flew through the air like a skyrocket and landed in the rose bushes, head spinning and tummy churning. Candy spilled across the plaza, showering like hailstones. Children ran to and fro, laughing, yelling, and scooping up handfuls, pocketfuls, bagfuls. Someone stepped on Cat's tail. And Cat yelled and sped home, his tail bruised and sore. When Mouse caught his breath, he sat up. The candy was gone. The people were leaving. The cleaners were sweeping and picking up trash. No dessert for me, Mouse thought, his whiskers drooping. But wait, 
hidden in the ivy. Mouse spied one lemon drop overlooked, forgotten and wrapped in shiny cellophane. He picked it up and ran home to his hidey hole for one last treat. Cinco de mouse, que felicidad!